in the past. Sorry, fat fingered the video. I was trying to take the case off so I could set up set it up on my stand, and I accidentally hit end. And I don't edit videos, so I had to do a part two. But anyway, it's probably better that way anyway, because this is going to be more or less a rant video. Not even a rant video, but just to kind of let you know why I'm uh, not really feeling it today. But anywho. This is the end results of the, and they're both empty for YouTube purposes. Uh, this is the end result of the 45 Blast installation. Uh, again, it was simple installation. Um, you just have to kind of wiggle it a little bit. The Gen 2 signature series it went on a lot tighter for some reason the gen one uh was kind of loose when it went on i don't you know it wasn't anything major but um yeah they were both um simple install um nothing major by no means um and i can't wait to get out to not try with this one so much I don't know if I'm going to use this one or not. <laughs> it just depends. But I don't even know if I'm going to use this one anymore or not. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to do. I just like the way they look. And I know a lot of you are probably thinking, oh, man, they're so big and long. But I'm used to holding big, long things. I mean, well, since I was a toddler anyway. <laughs> uh, speaking of hardware, well, I guess that's hardware too. But Anywho, yeah, so, yeah, it's big, it's long. And uh, I'm a big man, you know what I'm saying? So I need big uh, toys to play with, you know what I'm saying? So this is the end result of the 45 Blast uh, Compensator. Comes with a couple stickers and uh, the screws or whatnot that you need to assemble it. I think it comes with a couple extra screws for them in case you may mess one up or lose one or something. Uh, again, I'm going to go back and lock type them uh, just for, you know, uh, peace of mind. And uh, unfortunately, which I figured you can't use your factory holsters with these compensators on. So I don't know whether to lock tight them because I probably, I mean, I don't know right at this point. So, I mean, it is what it is. These will probably never see any action anymore. I mean, I did with Gen 1, but Gen 2 will probably never see any action um, unless the crap really hits the fan and uh, we really have to arm up to defend ourselves uh, in this crazy world. So in that event, it don't matter, you know, it's, it's, it's going to have to be used, I guess. So uh, with that being said, uh, I'll go ahead on and uh, end it for this portion of the video. But like I said, I'm just a little bit down because... Um, a good friend of mine had uh, passed away a couple weeks back or a week or more ago and his service was yesterday and I'm driving down the road yesterday morning, hit a freaking pothole that was like a foot and a half deep, busted my tire, bent my rim, um, and I was unable to get another tire for the car until four o'clock in the afternoon because of the odd size of the tire is a 285 40 20 um on the car that i just bought what a week ago driving down seventh avenue in north charleston hit a pothole bent my rim my factory rim uh so state of west virginia you're gonna pay a pretty penny it's a maserati rim and a pirelli p0 uh tire that blew out hit the pothole luckily it was a uh, car repair shop like right there uh, those guys heard it and I pulled over and I was like oh man please I mean when I hit it I knew I had to at least if not bent the rim busted the tire because I could just it just hit so hard I didn't even see it there was no cone out there or nothing so I hit it boom and I was like oh no so I went around the block and I was like man if I'm a pull over anywhere it has to be at this car place so circle the block pulled in at the car place and the guys came out there like yeah we heard you hit it and I was like man I was I was livid to say the least 
And uh, he was like, yeah, you're the second one today that busted a tire right there. I was like, are you serious? He was like, yeah, somebody else did it probably about 20 minutes ago. And I was like, man, what are the odds of that? You know what I mean? And so um, I'm hot. I'm frustrated. I'm they're, They were trying to see if they could locate me a tire that size. They were unsuccessful. So I'm calling all these tire places. Nobody had on the stock. I couldn't get it till Monday. And here it is Friday morning, you know. So I'm just like, oh, my God, man. I'm just frustrated beyond means. So, five minutes after I hit the pothole, here rolls up uh, a West Virginia Department of Highways asphalt truck and a pickup truck behind it. And then there, well, prior to that, I called the, the mayor of Charleston and was like, yo, you know, woo, 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 told them what was going on. And they're like, oh, okay, well, we'll take your number down and gave me the number to the, or uh, email information to send in my uh application to be uh, compensated and so um within a, like five minutes after it happens here comes the department of highways and they roll up dude drive a truck big as all get out eat the biscuit i'm like man what's up he's like what are you talking about buddy i said man this hole right here i just well i'm not gonna say what i said because you know kids might be watching my channel but i chewed his big hind end up like he was chewing on that biscuit I'm like, bro, y'all left this two-foot hole out here, no cone. I bust my tire, bent my rim, and I gotta and I gotta drive all the way like an hour drive down to Beckley. And he's like, well, buddy, blah 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 blah. He's like, well, just go up on the hill here and and get an application and turn it into the state. Blah blah. I, okay, I was gonna do that anyway. Somebody gonna pay me for this. I'm gonna get compensated one way or another. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Huh? I, sh no, I didn't mean it violently. I was just showing them because this is a gun channel. Anyway, so, oh, I chewed him up, chewed the dude that was on the back of the truck up. I mean, you know, here I am driving down the road trying to mind my business, and y'all y'all somewhere buying biscuits and stuff, eating breakfast instead of filling these holes. So how I didn't go to jail yesterday, I don't know. I was by the luck of God, so... Nevertheless, um, I, the, the, the dudes at the um, car place where I had to pull in at, you know, they knew I was frustrated and, and they said it was the fifth time somebody had hit that hole or busted a tire or bent the rim in a week. It's been sitting there like that for over a week, almost two weeks is what I'm hearing. So, and I hadn't been in North Charleston in a while, so I didn't know I was there, you know. Nevertheless, so they went on ahead and, and uh, changed my, um, put my spare tire on for me free of charge. Um, and it was only rated for 50 mile an hour. And I, and I couldn't drive, you know, an hour to Beckley on a donut. I mean, it was just beyond frustrating, man. And, uh, you know, kind of feel a little bad. But, I mean, I just remember him. Uh, like the last time I seen him at another buddy of mine's um, repass, he was happy because he was eating. So, little Sean, sorry. Uh, I know he's probably smiling, looking down at me, laughing at me because I, I was out there being uh, a little belligerent, a little beside myself. So, I hope you were entertained, my brother. Uh, you know, so, but it, it was just frustrating and stressful. So... And the weird thing is, Friday, I got I'm getting I was getting new tires to put on the car. You know, anyway, just kind of doing a little upgrade thing, and then and then I hit a pot of. It's more like a, a a nuclear bomb crater. I swear it was every bit of a foot and a half deep. Just boom! Soon I hit it. I knew. I knew. Oh, plus they're gonna reimburse me for. I'm gonna have to get a uh, front end alignment too. I'm sure. So they're gonna get front end alignment. Pirelli P0 and a Maserati rim. State of West Virginia, come on, all these taxes we pay. Can we get the roads fixed? And then you, fat man, driving a truck, eating biscuits, sipping on coffee. Hot. Still hot. And then I missed my man's funeral service, man, so... I'm just a little bit, um, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. So that's why on the first video, if you've seen it, I said I would tell you all 
uh, later in that video, but I fat fingered my, my phone. They, they make everything so small and dainty. Can you make some man sized stuff, people? Not everybody is little and petite. Okay, some of us are some big boys. I just can't win. Man, I quit. Diesel Dave, I'm out, man. Oh, stuff.